first look at Oxygen OS 12 based on Android 12 from the OnePlus 8D running on the Poco X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at Oxygen OS 12 based on Android 12 from the OnePlus 8D with security patch from February 2022 running on the Poco X3 Pro. Now super important thing to note over here is that this is a port from Oxygen OS beta itself. So whatever bugs you have in Oxygen OS beta for the OnePlus 8T are going to exist in this specific build as well. So this is how the ROM comes out of the box. We can have a look at the power menu and we can also have a look at the volume panel which of course is on the left hand side for now. Then we can access the recents. So this is how your recents are going to look like. You can of course switch between different applications using the icons over here as well and you also have the option of close all and your available memory. Then in case you want split screen you have the option for that as well. Next up, if you press and hold on the empty space, you can of course remove the widgets which are clearly visible by the minus sign and in case you want to add more widgets, tap on the plus sign on the top left and you're going to get a list of widgets which you can add. Then if you go into the wallpaper section, here it is, you do have your Oxygen OS 12 live wallpapers from the OnePlus 8T and you also have the static wallpapers. Other than that, you can customize your icons so you do have multiple icon packs which are available then if you tap on custom you can change the shape of these icons as well you can change the rounded corner you can change the icon size as well you can enable or disable the application name and if you enable this option you can choose the size of the text for your application name as well once you're done making those changes apply it and you should be good to go then you have a bunch of different layout options which are available you can change the transition when you switch between the different home screens and if you go into more you can customize your double tap to lock double tap to sleep so all those options are present here it is double tap to sleep and double tap to Wake, working without any issues. Next up, if you swipe towards the right hand side, you can of course access your Google feed and no jitters, no lags. If you access your applications using the gestures, no issues in that regard either. Swipe down, you can access your quick settings panel. Bam, here it is. This is how your quick settings panel is going to look like. And if you swipe down from the top right, you can access your OnePlus shelf. Now, with the OnePlus shelf, they have added some new features like Scout Search. So if I tap on search and I say type in OXY, I can search this OXY within a specific application. Tap on Chrome, it is going to search for OXY. Similarly, you can search within your device as well so o brings up the applications voice recognition and the other options then you also have your weather then if you tap on the settings icon on the top right you can of course turn the option of enabling your shelf on when you swipe down from the top right you also have the option of adding some widgets to the shelf section you have a custom greeting message which can be customized and you can enable or disable all the different options which you see on your oneplus shelf then we can go back to our quick settings panel. So here it is. This is your quick settings panel. You do have your toggles for mic and camera access. We are going to cover these later in the video. Then you also have something called work mode and life mode. So if you press and hold on any of those, you can customize your work and life mode. You can set them to start at, you know, based on a specific time, based on Wi-Fi, based on location. Then you can configure your accounts for work and life and what all applications you want notifications from. All of those can be configured with with this work and life mode then you of course have a toggle for dark mode as well and you also get zen mode 2.0 which comes with new themes and new music next up you also get the new gaming mode so here it is this is how it is going to look like i have enabled it for magisk and you can see i have my cpu gpu and network let me swipe down access my gaming mode so here it is i do have my performance settings over here so those can be configured then you also have your game focus mode which you can enable or disable other than that you also have something called voice modulator wherein you can use different voices in the game so that is again something 
menu which has been added with this latest gaming mode and you also have a screen recorder if you go into the settings you have the option of recording system sound and recording your microphone sound which means you can record internal audio while you are gaming then with respect to the other apps which are baked in so you get google phone you get google messages you get the oneplus gallery and of course you can switch between different views by using this new gesture which they have added to the gallery application and other than that for your google camera application you have to join their group and they do have a specific camera which works on this oxygen os 12 port and another thing you will notice is that your privacy indicators work without any issues so we are recording a video right now and and if I access my quick settings panel here it is it is giving me a notification that camera and microphone are being used by the camera application and of course you can turn these off using these new indicators or these new quick setting tiles which Google added with Android 12 and OnePlus or Oppo has decided to implement that with their Oxygen OS 12 build next up we can also go ahead and check out what other apps you get baked in so you have your play store which means google apps are baked in you also have your theme store yes oxygen os 12 is based on color os which means you do have a theme store in case you want to theme your device you do have some free to try themes and again me personally i'm not a big fan of this but yes you do have that specific feature enabled then we can jump over to settings so this is how the settings page is going to look like let us go into about device so this is how the about device page is going to look like then we can jump over to personalizations so of course we already talked about the wallpapers the themes the customizing of the icons and you can also customize your quick setting icons in case you want to do that you can change your accent color so right now i am using the red one but you can always choose a specific color in case you want to do that tap on save and bam there it is the colors have now changed similarly if you go into the font option you can choose between multiple fonts you have roboto one plus sans if you tap on more it is going to take you to their theme store wherein you can download more fonts then you can change the font size as well using the slider and you can configure the display size as well tap on apply and you should be good to go other than that we can now go over to home and lock screen so of course we did cover all these options earlier going into display and brightness so yes with oxygen os 12 when you switch over to dark mode you will see something called dark mode settings and here then you have three different options for your dark mode you have enhanced medium and gentle so you can use whatever one works best for you now the gentle one is a bit on the grayish side the medium one is black and the enhanced one of course is pitch black and you also have toggles for the other options as well then if you go into auto switch here and you can configure your dark mode when do you want it to start sunset to sunrise or from a custom time you also have a toggle for auto brightness and you can configure your screen color options as well do you want vivid do you want natural do you want to use the pro mode do you want brilliance or not and you can configure the screen color temperature as well using the slider then we can go back and have a look at the eye comfort option so here it is if it is too bright for you enable this toggle and again you can configure the color temperature of the screen you can schedule it you can use a black and white theme in case you want to so yes you do have a bunch of customizations over here along with your video color enhancer you have a toggle for auto rotate high refresh rate yes either you can use 60 or you can use 120 or you can use auto select then you also have your screen display so here and you can choose what all applications display the notch what all applications use the full screen on a per application basis moving over to sound and vibration so here and you of course have your live caption so it is good to see one plus implement live caption then you have a toggle for silent mode you can configure your ringtones using the sliders the volumes then you can also configure your ringtone and your notification sound do note when you install the rom for the first time these two might not be set so you have to set them then you have your vibrate on ring vibrate on silent go into haptics and tones you have a toggle for vibrate on touch and you can configure the sounds for all the different options which you see on your screen right now going to advanced you can configure your volume button function and you can also configure your default recorder application 
Next up, we have notification and status bar. So you have options to display data usage, pull down on lock screen to access your notification drawer, go into manage notifications, go into lock screen notifications. You can configure that. Do you want a badge or not? Do you want bubbles or not? And you can also enable or disable your notification history and options for all the different toggles which you see on your screen right now. And you can also configure your per app notifications which are down over here and if you are wondering hey manji this is a hot mess too many menus you are absolutely right that is why they say that oppo has ruined oxygen os then of course you have your battery style you have three different options you can configure your battery percentage do you want real-time network speed do you want your notification icons or you want a notification count or you do not want to show them then you can also configure what all icons you want to see in your status bar next up with respect to your password and security now unfortunately on this build you only have fingerprint which of course is working like a boss no face unlock then we have privacy so in privacy of course you have your privacy dashboard so here then you can see that what all applications have had access to your camera microphone calendar all those things then you have your camera access and microphone access we already covered these in our demo of the google camera application using these quick setting tiles other than that in your privacy you also have your app lock hide apps and private safe now do note as this is a port from oxygen os beta build these options are broken in that build which means they are broken in this port as well next up you have your battery option so here it is this is how the battery page looks like you have about percentage remaining how many hours are left what is your screen usage since the last time how much screen on time has been there you also have your power saving mode in case you want to use that go into advanced you can optimize your battery usage configure your sleep standby optimize night charging show the battery percentage in the status bar and of course you have a graph as well along with your battery usage tap on this you can configure it to use time as well next up we have special features so here then you have your oneplus shelf the work life balance and the scout we have covered all these things jumping over to system settings so you can of course change your language if you tap on add a language you do have a bunch of languages which are available then if you go into gestures and motions of course screen of gestures only double tap to wake works the other ones are not going to work for us then you also have your three finger screenshot bam working like a boss in case you want to scroll you have the option of that as well and in case you want to take a partial screenshot you can do that as well touch and hold with three fingers and it should activate the partial screenshot menu there it is you have your rectangle ellipse and you can draw a free form as well in case you want to do that and of course i didn't mean to but i did draw a heart then you have your lift to wake and the other options which you see on your screen right now then you also have one handed mode in case you want to use one handed mode now this is not google's implementation of one handed mode only if i can get it to get in and yep there it is so this is not google's implementation of 100 mode this i think is the color os or oxygen os implementation of 100 mode then you have your power button what do you want to do when you press and hold the power button do you want the power menu or your google assistant then you have your screenshot options your screen recording and schedule your power on and off so all these options have been covered next up we can talk about safety net so out of the box safety net is not going to pass you will have to root your device install the universal safety net fix by k dragon clear the data for your google play store and the google play services and then if you go into settings there it is you can see that play protect certification device is certified we can also use an application called yet another safety net attestation checker and here it is you can see basic is pass cts is pass eval type is basic this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues now with respect to your youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine picture in picture works of course for picture in picture either you need 
need to have YouTube Premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for YouTube Premium. With respect to the assistant lady, she is present and she works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well. Next up, you can check out the smoothness of the ROM. So let us try to switch between a few applications. Here it is. You can see that the gesture is working without any issues. Of course, we are at 120 right now. Then we can also access our Google feed once the content has cached. You can see it is pretty good, pretty smooth, pretty fast. No jitters, no lags. And unlike Poco Launcher, this here is any day better. Then for your app opening app closing animations again no issues in that regard either everything seems to be working absolutely fine with respect to the recents again you can see how smooth they are we have no jitters no lags everything is absolutely fine and i do accidentally keep on invoking the back gesture but other than that everything seems absolutely fine with the port and again as i mentioned in the beginning of the video there are some bugs but most of those bugs are due to this being a port from oxygen os beta build which means you can blame oppo or oxygen os or oneplus for those bugs and there it is peeps that was our first look at oxygen os 12 based on android 12 running on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you